thank you for coming back to our blog, weekly blog. I want to apologize, not really apologize for last week. Um, Corey Palm, who takes care of our video, Corey and his wife just had a baby girl, so he's been taking care of more important business uh, other than softball, though it's a close second. Um, about this past weekend, we had Wisconsin come to West Lafayette to play us in a three-game series. You know, three interesting games in, in the sense the first game we attacked right away. Wisconsin um, crumbled a bit defensively, had about three, three or four errors, which allowed us to put a lot of runs on the board. You know, Lexi gave us a few innings um, of pitching, and then uh, Hackney came in a bit for us to kind of finish it up. Um, and then the second game was almost like a role reversal. Uh, we made the mistakes and they jumped on us. So that first day we split. We won the first game, they won the second game. And it was it was the type of softball that we're expecting to see. You know, Wisconsin was going to get runners on. They were going to find a way to score them. And it was the same with us. Um, it wasn't necessarily a pitching duel on either end. It was more defense and hitting oriented. Well, of course, on Sunday it came down to who wants it the most and how bad do you want it. So I think our kids did a great job of coming out pretty much every single inning, applying the pressure offensively and defensively and getting it done. You know, could not ask more of our seniors on Sunday. You know, that was the type of leadership that you want and it wasn't necessarily in the the motivational encouraging you know come on you guys can do this it was more in how they played the game you know molly set the tone right away on sunday with an incredible at bat not just necessarily in the outcome of getting a hit but just fouling pitches off going deep in the count just being present every single pitch you know she did that pretty much every single at bat she made some great plays defensively and then katie hackney was able to come in midway through the game and give us you know good innings in the circle getting their runners to not runners i'm sorry getting their hitters to chase her pitches and you know it ended up with a ground ball to Katie Hackney where she made the play to first base. It was, it was nice to watch on our end um, because it was an exciting game both ways going back and forth and you know to all the parents and fans that were out there hopefully you know we gave you guys a good show and we thank you for all the support that you have given us um, at home at our home games and would love to see you in Minnesota and Michigan in the next couple of weeks. This weekend, we head up to Minnesota for a three-game series against the Gophers. Uh, you know, the biggest focus needs to be on Purdue softball. Um, we need to focus on our strengths, and our strengths essentially is have great energy on the team, in the dugout, on the field, you know, get runners on by quality at bats, and getting the job done in the circle, getting hitters to chase our pitches, you know, getting ground balls, pot flies, and of course, always get on base and driving in the runs. You know, I think with finals being over on Friday, there's going to be this renewed energy and fire about going into the weekend, so we're looking for some uh, good games up in uh, Minneapolis against the Gophers, and I, I think if we go up there doing things that we're capable of doing, we're going to be pretty happy um, come Sunday.